Today I'm reading Jonathan James and the World of Monsters. It's a really great book about being brave and believing in yourself, so let's get reading! Jonathan James and the What If Monster by Michelle Nelson Schmidt. Some what if monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blank. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all those what ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and you look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? What if you lose? What if you last? What if you slow and never get fast? What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Now wait just a minute. I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all through the day, I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asked Jonathan James. What if I climb to the top of the tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun? And I end up hitting a triple home run. And what if my drawing goes up on the wall? And everyone thinks it's the best one of all. And what if I taste some of that food? And it puts my mouth in a really good mood. And what if I run? And a really big race. And have a great time, no matter what place. And what if I sleep and have the best dream? That monsters are sweeter than they all seem. And what of the chance I take in the end? It's just how I find my very best friend. Jonathan James always had a lot of monster hanging around. And he listened to him. What if they giggle? What if it's hard? What if it's scary? But what if just once he didn't listen? What if he told the monster to be quiet? What if he just tried? The end! Right, guys! Well, it's so much fun reading the book with you. I enjoyed it up. You did too. And remember to never listen to those what of monsters because you can, you can be brave and you can do it. Don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you want to read my books with me. And remember, 
the magic search menu. Turn the page. 